Hi, this is Mohammed, and I am on online prosperity show today. Uh, you have to completely watch the show uh, to know my journey and the very good experience with the prosperity winger. It is a very much pleasure to be here. Now, yeah. welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, I've brought you Mohammed. Mohammed, how are you, my man? I'm great, uh, Prosper. Thank you. Fantastic. I'm really excited about our show today because, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, at different stages in anybody's career, thoughts to turn to the next steps might start occurring. So maybe you're considering moving up in your current business or current organization, or perhaps you're actually looking for opportunities in other companies, or you might actually be considering a complete pivot, which is actually embarking on a whole new career path and studying on your own, which is what our guest did, um, you know, turning himself from a mechanical engineer to one of the most um, fastest growing digital mar marketers in India at this very moment. Now, Mohammed, I could go on and on and tell everybody else about about you, but you're here, right? So why don't we hear it from you? Tell us a little bit about your pivot story and how you actually got started in digital marketing. <laughs> Thanks for the great intro, <laughs> It was a very pleasure. Uh, actually, I was working a nine to five job uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia uh, in an oil company. So during uh, the work in Saudi Arabia, you know, it is a lot of desert and too much of uh, climate changes and stuff. So I was very much pressured to work there. It was my situation to work uh, in uh, for two years, around two years. So that's when I was thinking, why don't we do something to impact uh, other people's lives? So which can help a lot of uh, people. And that's when I came into, uh, came back from my work, resigning the job. So I just resigned and uh, I was back. I tried a lot of businesses actually. I tried different uh, verticals. Uh, I was selling like exporting products from India to Gulf countries. And later I, I had this uh, very uh, thing, uh, which was allowed towards the technology, which was from my early school ages. That's when I started looking into uh, pivoting into the technology thing and let's become a marketer for the tech, tech people. So that's when uh, this happened, uh, Prosper. Fantastic. And congratulations. You seem to have landed on your feet. I mean, obviously, maybe it's your analytical brain that actually helped you, you know, moving from being an engineer to a digital marketer. How did that play in, in what you're doing right now? Yeah, actually, uh, people will be like, we shouldn't uh, leave our jobs. Uh, let's have the job. Let's then do a side hustle. Then we can go into a full-time uh, entrepreneur. But uh, my analytical brain funnily told, just burn the bridges and we'll just jump in. So we don't have a way back so that we can progress towards uh, what we are taking up in the future. So that is, that's the core. And it uh, gave me the uh, thing to like, to communicate and to easily attach with people. The, the analyticals gave me a good uh, idea. So how to run a business without even knowing what I'm going to do. So I was very much clueless and I was trying, trying, trying and Right now, I'm here. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, it's been a good journey so far. And, um, you know, I caught up with you on a fast up and coming platform, which is called Polywork. Tell me a little bit about how you've been, um, you know, using the internet to actually, you know, put word out there about the things that you're doing. Uh, actually, uh, during when I just started out, I was like, uh, working one-to-one um, -one with 
business people, I was going into their offices and cold calling them. And that was the strategy for me. But when I, when I came into this, uh, to how to leverage the technology. So that is when I got uh, more of idea to like, uh, how to get more people into my business. So we can, so I was starting to think about new avenues apart from the existing social media. So like we, all, all the people like uh, they use LinkedIn, they go with Facebook and they go with the Snapchat and like that. So when I was like that, I came through a journal uh, for I think um, marketing brew. Right. So uh, in that, uh, actually they tell uh, news about uh, latest uh, platforms. And through that, I came in touch with Polywork. So it, it at the first thing, it grabbed me. So it was like, uh, it was a great platform to connect with the genuine people. So that is how we both got connected, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I, I'm really glad we made that connection because looking at what you've done and looking at what where you're headed, it really um, you know, can prove fruitful if we actually collaborate in some sort of case. So just give us an outline of what sort of work you are now doing. I mean, obviously before you were wearing a hard hat and um, you know, maybe high V's <laughs> uh jackets as an engineer but right now you just need a pen and maybe a calculator to calculate um return of investment how have you sort of um yeah what sort of work are you now um putting out there actually my, i was very still i was in bootstrapped and we started with a very low investment and i i had a, a very particular thing that we shouldn't go for uh, get money from others so we should do from whatever we have and whatever we have we will do it so that is when i started discovering other uh, platforms to produce more content and uh, to 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 tell what i do uh, to other people i started my podcast show i started with producing content on uh, other platforms so that people can know so oh someone is doing something which is not actually people doing here in india you may you may see a lot of people are not doing a lot of content and i also ask my clients to make more content and that is how we are driving their uh, uh, profits also so that's how it's going absolutely well content is king right now you and me sitting here we're freezing a moment in time which maybe somebody in 2048 or 2050 may be able to watch and actually learn how they can maybe pivot their job or to actually um you know uh, scale or grow their own business now from all the things that you have been doing content has been something that you went straight ahead into there's a lot of confidence that is required for you to put yourself out there tell me how you go past that um you know just predicated on the fact that you have to show up in the world and maybe ask people to jump on a podcast with you and eventually produce the podcast you know is there no fear that's um in, in involved in that whole process for yourself <laughs> Actually, I am a very much an introvert. Uh, so uh, before uh, I don't talk much to anyone. Uh, I just like uh, I just avoid uh, people, and I, I I was like that. Yes, so, you're an engineer. You're just doing your job, you know. So <laughs> yeah, that's that's what we are built up. And in the Asian, uh, like the Indian community, you may know uh, people. We don't uh, express ourselves much. So. I, I, from the beginning, I thought it was a very much uh, a big barrier for me. So when I when I came to, I, I read a lot of books. Uh, I read a lot of books, and somewhere in uh, in between the lines, I I came to, uh, you know, like the book called uh, "Get Rich Quick" by Dennis. Uh, he's the founder of uh, Maxim Magazine. So in that book, he just tells, whenever you are going in peace with your fear, 
you start to grow so what is going to happen if we are going to talk to someone if they are going to tell no there is nothing going to happen they are not going to kill you wow <laughs> <laughs> so 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 you just ask if it is an s they will tell s if it is a no it is a no but if you are not going to ask at all it is a no al always it is a no for sure so that hit me hard so as an as a businessman we need to like at least we need to show up and um, convince that people we don't have fear but we have fear actually inside <laughs> so we don't show we have fear but uh, recently i started to pivot from being a very much introvert to a little bit of an extrovert uh so <laughs> look at you you're spoken to me in two days now you know what i mean so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right so there's also the fear of leaving something that is guaranteed you know like your job you left you even had to leave saudi arabia and you know what i mean go back home T walk us through you know your transition process and maybe how your family sort of took that um you know transition because there's obviously going to be an income cut that they would have experienced while you're trying to establish yourself as an entrepreneur uh that was a good question actually when uh, i decided to leave uh, my job i just sat with my parents and i told them like i'm not willing to go back and i don't want this uh, job and you're still alive <laughs> actually my father is a business person here okay uh, he's a generational business he knows uh, that we might fail in business if we are not good at it so he is like okay it is going uh, a great business but he did not want us uh, we brothers to come into business because he he wants to be a a uh, like uh, guaranteed uh, income for uh, their children so when i just first time i told him i want to come into business he just told me uh this is not going to happen you're going to job that's it so <laughs> i told him see this is not what i am for i don't want uh, someone to be in an other country being an expat just calling you and being like uh in the phone and not able to be in contact so in indian culture you know the family uh, circle is very much uh, bonded yes so we, we we keep family first i think most of the culture it is like that absolutely but uh so when i told that okay he was like okay he's trying to do something and tell something let's hear it first so uh, <laughs> i told my mom and dad like i'm for sure i'm going to do and i'll go in i'll do whatever it is so if you're going to support me you can support if not i'll try with my own uh, things so my dad told okay you just try if not uh, it is up to you don't uh, come to me and tell you could have guided me earlier <laughs> so i just told okay let's see what happens so things started like uh, i told uh, it is not uh, like you know for sure it is a very 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 uh, bad journey in the beginning i was uh, like i didn't know how to target or how to uh, take a product or a service up it is like a lot of things running around i was like a wild uh, goose chase <laughs> So, so it took me around uh, two years to stumble upon what I'm doing right now. So right now, even, <laughs> even now, I'm just trying to make things better, better, better. So that's how it's going. Absolutely. I've got a question for you. How long did it take you to learn, um, you know, your um, engineering degree or qualification? It was around uh, four years. Absolutely. That's my answer right there. So if it took you four years to go and do something that you later on didn't like, 
how much are you going to be willing to give to something that you absolutely love doing? I, I gave everything. <laughs> absolutely. Fantastic. All right. So you did mention that you're reading a few books and, um, you know, that's how you're learning. How else are you learning to make sure that the time from, you know, the bad days you're talking about to, you know, experts are shorter, you know, so that it's not taking as much as four years, like we said, <laughs> you know, to actually get it right. How else are you learning, um, you know, in, in order to get it right? Oh, actually, when, when I came into business, I was like, I earlier told you, I was doing exports and something like that. So it is also running right now, even now. This is a part of my thing. But I had this uh, urge to, and I had this problem of getting new clients to my business, the export business. So that is when I started looking and uh, hearing, talking uh, about uh, marketers in around the world so that's when i got into like uh, i stumbled upon with uh, russell brunson who is a great marketer and he just made me like wow what the hell are you doing man <laughs> so he's he first hit me with this uh, marketing thing so he just told marketers and salespeople, you should me you should be the rainmaker so you bring the money, everyone is happy. So that is when I thought, oh, okay, so this is my problem. My problem is I need more clients. I need more ex uh, international buyers. And I'm not sure how to get that. When someone is telling, so why don't we help other businesses like us to get more clients and uh, buyers? So that is how I just grabbed into this marketing and <laughs> doing it right now absolutely absolutely i was just gonna quickly show you my little uh run in with uh, russell brunson uh -huh. if you can see this was in 2016 oh wow when he wrote on my facebook while he was launching funnel hacker and he's like i totally agree if you have a purpose stay focused and consistent and this is exactly from Rus russell brunson himself all right so at the end of the day you had a purpose you stayed focused and you got consistent and look at you now you're <laughs> creating you know wealth for other people especially getting them uh, a return on their ad spend um which is something that every business really needs out there now obviously we could go on and on you've got an in interesting story you've got interesting outcomes and you are creating a whole lot more um where can people get a hold of you um you know if they want to get to find out much of your journey or just to get in touch and maybe learn from how you made that transition um in order for them to um also start fulfilling their dreams uh -huh. actually like they can come into my podcast show the sharaf audio experience and we are just trying to uh, grow my youtube channel also uh, i'm always uh, like instagram is very much reachable for me so people always come in and get in touch there so that's how people can get into touch with me absolutely now if somebody's watching this video right now mohammed and they're thinking wow wow i wish i could do what mohammed did i wish i could transition or maybe somebody is thinking oh what are the next steps in my career you know what what sort of advice would you give to somebody who's studying um always thinking about transitioning themselves into something that they absolutely love my one single advice is just be fearless. Just be fearless. That is the one thing. What is going to happen? Each and every one, uh, 7 billion people in the world are going to die one day. Why don't we die with the history? Wow. So that is when, <laughs> that is the only thing we need. We, do, we don't want to, like, we don't want others' perspective to be uh, reflected on us. We don't want what uh, Prosper will think about me, what uh, someone in the uh, market will think about me of doing something. If I'm going to run a podcast show, start. If I'm going to start a YouTube channel, start. Just start. 
start then we can just uh, build the things on the journey itself so just i'm i'm too late i'm and till my end of my life i'll just keep this advice for myself is to be fearless what is going to happen if if i did something and it turns out good it is fine if it turns out bad not done it is a good experience i learned something from that bad experience right so it didn't work so i'll change that to another thing i will make uh, another good uh, thing and uh, we will uh, we can we can it is a journey people always think about the destination but i always think about the journey so that is what we need uh, as entrepreneurs actually fantastic fantastic i am really really you know excited we got this chance to record this because the value the nuggets and everything else that you were throwing in this um you know call today were amazing literally books are going to be written about you my man now just in case um you know people are still sitting on the edge of their seat maybe they've they've seen your podcast they've heard that they need to be fearless what can they expect um in the future from mohammed they can expect uh what they are about to try i will try everything and show them so they don't want to try that so even the my mistakes even my bad experiences it will be shared everywhere so that they don't want to experience that and they can learn from our experience like you and we can uh, people can get more about from us so we make a lot of mistakes so even now i'm talking fluently with you but i am getting stuttered so this is also an experience so later in another post podcast uh, show with you maybe i'll be more fluent and we can <laughs> have a <laughs> absolutely absolutely like i i i am very grateful for your time today um and you really touched on a lot of things i believe we're here to leave we're here to learn and we're here to contribute you've lived the best life you're still learning how to do that and you're you know learning from other people's experiences and you're open to contribute those experiences so that other people can actually enjoy them. Now, if you're sitting uh, and watching this video right now, please get in touch with Mohammed and follow through with his journey because where he's been and where he's going to, he's leaving traces of how he's made it possible because success leaves clues. I can't thank you enough, uh, Mohammed, for taking the time and um, giving us such an inspirational episode um you know based on your story and where you're going thank you prosper for having me on your show it is a great pleasure absolutely thank you man yeah